for the authority and the new forest generally, this is really a new leg for us. Um, there's so much here to show, so many I think people have got the interest in what happened in the Second World War, and to get this opportunity and the funding that we have had is an immense challenge for us, and also a great privilege to be able to put on an exhibition like this. So thank you for coming along, thank you for uh, those who were part of the team putting it together. I'm going to hand over to James Brown, who is head of this particular project on behalf of the authority, and just give a few more words. So thank you all for coming along today. Uh, again, once again, thank you very much. There's been lots of thank yous this morning. Um, but just looking around now, the amount of turnout has been really impressive to see. Um, and that's something that the, we've actually really enjoyed with this project. There's two of us working uh, staff on the project. Uh, myself, that's dressed up a bit smarter today than I normally wear. Uh, and Gareth Bowen, um, who you might have seen running around quite uh, rapidly backwards and forwards, uh, hiding over in the far distance in the corner. Um, but uh, he's the education outreach officer on the project. Uh, and together we, we've been working really hard on this. But... Uh, as much as we would like to do and as much as time there is in the day, it would be completely impossible without the, the help and the interest, the help of the volunteers and the interest of the general public. So um, milling amongst you all today is various volunteers from our New Forest Members project um, involved in recording oral histories, uh, helping doing actually surveying some of the archaeology that survives out on the forest today. So we can actually be aware of what survives, so we can look to protect that for the future and actually build the stories of the memories into that archaeology so people start to actually appreciate what was there, how important it was, and we don't forget it going into the future. So a real big thank you to our volunteers. And as I say, it'd be impossible to run and put together such an exhibition without those help of those volunteers. Um, and also, it's really important that I say a big thank you uh, to the funders of this project. It's a partnership project that's funded by the Heritage Lottery Fund, so a really big thank you to them. ExxonMobil at Forley, who have absolutely uh, put money into the, doing the exhibition and the interpretation. Uh, the New Forest National Park, and also actually the New Forest Centre, which we're in today to, uh, to open this, uh, what I say is a marvellous exhibit. Obviously, you haven't had a chance to see it yet. If I really build it up, you'll be really, really keen to see it. So uh, to be honest, I'm one of those people that once I start talking, can carry on going and going. And going. Uh, I can see you're all really kind of keen to get into the exhibition. So, at this point, I will pass it back over to Mary Montague to say a few words. Thank you very much, Thank and enjoy. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, James. It's been brilliant working with the National Park Authority on this project, and it's wonderful that we're going to have a new permanent display on World War II. I'd just like to mention the designers of this display, who are called Far Post Design. Mike Cashman and his team have done a fantastic job working with all the artefacts, and stories to create this new display. So a big thank you to Mike and his team. And also the volunteers at the New Forest Centre have also played a big part. They were working till midnight last night, getting everything ready for it today. So I hope you really enjoy this new exhibit. Now, I know Dan Snow will not need an introduction to most of you. You will have seen him all over the television this year. <laughs> pretty well every day. <laughs> in particular, I'd like to mention the brilliant programme he's just done on D-Day. I'm sure many of you saw it, and it was a superb programme, absolutely superb. So Dan, who is our new local resident, if you don't know, he's living in the New Forest now, very exciting, and here to support local history in the local area here, Dan Snow. <laughs> I haven't got direct line of sight, so I went into artillery spotters on the D-Day beaches. Thank you very much for the kind um, murmur of um, approval about the D-Day programme. That was a, a fantastic project to work on. Uh, there was a section that was cut out by the executive producer on the New Forest, on the Beaulieu River. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Shame. People, when we went to look at the landing craft that allegedly was crashed by an American who may have been drinking in one of the pubs. <laughs> so it's a bit intra fascinating bit of local history. Uh, there, a great oral, oral tradition of why that landing craft is there on the, on the banks of the Beaulieu River. But um, that is, uh, hopefully that will go into another program soon. Do not worry. But uh, I want to say I've spent my life trying to make programs about the past to engage yeah, younger people, new generations, with uh, the extraordinary history of this country, the most fascinating story uh, on the planet, I believe. And I think, well, but I'm also particularly interested in the, 
uh, online project, the website stuff, because that really is a completely new departure for all of us. It's like the invention of the printing press. We don't know where this story ends. So I want to say thank you particularly to the enormous numbers of volunteers that made the website of it possible. I believe that you've done something absolutely unique. You've helped to preserve the oral traditions, the memories of D-Day in the New Forest, so that they will seem as vibrant and dynamic to our great, 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 great grandchildren as those memories do to us now, when of course it's a, 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 we're li living a lot closer to those events. And I think that is something that's quite new in history and very, very, very important. Uh, I'd like to say lastly, we're all residents of the New Forest. I feel incredibly privileged to live here. Uh, you, you think of the story of places like Butler's Hard and Bewley, but of course the wider New Forest, the events of the Second World War here, they're of interest to us because we live here, there. it's local history, but by quirk of fate, by quirk of geography, what happened here in the New Forest, whether it's where we're standing now or down in Butler's Hard, the naval history there, it matters not just to us, but it is globally significant. Uh, and that's what we're here to celebrate today, the stories of these people that took part in D-Day at this, this wonderful museum, which are of interest, but they also could not be more important because, of course, they were playing their part in one of the greatest struggles against tyranny that the world has ever seen. So it gives, it's a huge honour to be opening this today. Uh, and I'm going to head over now and uh, grab the scissors. Thank you very much. <laughs> See, I'm about to cut. <laughs> 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 I didn't know he was going to go that side. I think they just told him to go that side. I declare this wonderful new exhibition. No, <laughs> Thank you.